Hey everyone, it's Emily and welcome to my channel. Today I'm renovating an apartment and this was actually kind of inspired by another apartment build that I did about a month ago now actually. It was around, um, right after New Year's, I built this, well, I built, I decorated a minimalist bohemian apartment and I think that it was actually the apartment right next to this one, but I asked in that video if you guys would want to see kind of a more like over the top boho apartment type of thing or um, a house and someone commented <laughs> recently actually, like in the past few days and they were like, yeah, I'd love to see that. So I was like, cool, I will do that for you. And just because it sounds fun and I need an apartment idea this week. So I decided to do that. And I made this more of like a family apartment than um, an apartment for one sim because this is a bigger apartment lot. Also, I had an issue picking a door for the outside. I'm still not totally happy with that door. I wish that it had brown trim, but all of the doors with the brown trim that matched the windows were just way too big. And um, yeah, I kind of gave up on trying to match that and being that picky with it because I figured maybe like the people who live there, they're allowed to like paint things and maybe they wanted their door to be more fun. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's just a, a little thought for some added realism. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I wanted to do this apartment because I, yeah, I got the comment and I was like, that is, that is a fun idea. I would enjoy doing that this week. So might as well. And now we're working on the first little part of the house, which usually I work on kind of the entrance area or the kitchen or something first. But with this house, I worked on the dining room first because I wanted it to be right by the door. I liked the idea of having um, this house or apartment is kind of built for like three sims max, I would say, because I have like a master bedroom and bathroom and then a kid's bedroom. And there's only really room for one kid in there. Like you could probably delete some of the stuff and fit another bed in, but I think it'd be pretty cramped. It's not a huge room. So yeah, I was thinking three Sims live here and then they have like an extra chair for when people come over type of thing. And I wanted to make all the chairs mismatched because I like doing that anyway. Like if I have a long table, putting different chairs on the sides than on the ends. Um, but I don't usually do that with round tables or if I do, I'll only do like I'll do two different types of chair, but I thought that it would be fun that they've kind of collected these chairs over the years and maybe like they have um, some kind of memory of like where they got the chair type of thing. So yeah, I thought that was a little bit of fun. And then, ooh, I did some funky things with the mirrors here. I figured out that if you raise one of them up, you can kind of fit it perfectly into the little notch of the other one. So I did that right there by the door just to kind of make my little entrance area as I usually do. And um, yeah, ooh, I also added those pipes around the existing um, little thing because this apartment needs TLC. Can't do anything about that, but I thought that I would just make it look a little bit um, more like it needs TLC. I don't know. I just thought the pipes added something to that wall. And now moving on to the living room. Ooh, I used some things in here that I don't normally get to use because I... I don't know. I guess I use a lot of color in my builds, but I don't use a lot of colors at once. Like I'll pick more of a focused color palette, but that's something that I like about doing kind of like bohemian inspired things is you can get away with using whatever combinations of colors you want because it's like, oh, it's boho. It's fun. Who cares if the colors aren't like perfectly matched and everything's kind of crazy. Like it's boho. <laughs> so I like getting it to do that with these types of builds. And I also have never used use that light in my life, the one with the candles that I put behind the TV. I have never used it, but it was really cool for this type of thing. I feel like um, this little boho fam would definitely put some candles in the shelf behind the TV. <laughs> So that's what I gave them. And I'm also creating this kind of fun little photo, um, not necessarily photo wall, but like just a collection of different pictures that I imagine once again, like, I don't know, when I think of boho, I think of like, um, like eclectic and like you kind of gathered things over the years. Like obviously boho can be a very like aesthetic type of style, but I was thinking with a family at least that it's more of like, oh, this like hippie couple that's like, um, not that they never get rid of anything, but like maybe they've, um, they kind of only keep the things they really like, even if all the things don't quite go together, but they like each individual piece. So they like want them in their home. I feel like that's their mindset when they're decorating. <laughs> it doesn't all have to match, but as long as we like everything that's in our space, we're good. So there's that. And I also like doing a boho type stuff because I feel like, um, I don't get as 
stressed about mismatched woods because in The Sims, we all know it's so hard to match the wood tones of things um, in the houses. And sometimes it doesn't bother me. And sometimes I like it to be a little bit mismatched. Like if it's rustic or something, if I can get away with like calling it a certain style, I don't mind if it's mismatched. But even to some extent with that type of thing, it still will bother me a little bit. But with boho, you can just do whatever you want. So yeah, I, I feel like I'll do this type of build. Obviously not this exact same thing because that wouldn't be fun for me either if I just built the same thing all the time. But yeah, I like doing these every now and then or picking a style that kind of lets me get away with a little bit more than I normally would have. And oh, also I did something that I literally never do. And well, okay, a kind of a lie, kind of a stretch, but I usually, if I match those parenthood cabinets with different counters than the parenthood counters, I'll pick a similar color swatch or like I'll make the cabinets white and then I'll just pick the white parenthood cabinets just to make it easy. But with this one, I picked totally mismatched woods to the wood in the cabinet and usually that would stress me out a lot, but I thought it looked kind of fun here. So we went with that and we also get a fun little coffee area in this um pretty small kitchen, but I think we end up putting that in at the end because I wasn't quite sure what I was doing um, until we got to the end. Also, something that I've started doing or I think is kind of cool is to put like a little panel behind the stove because I realized that in my house, we don't have a backsplash behind the stove. Sorry if I, you've watched another build where I've talked about this because I know I've talked about this before, but yeah, I realized that we don't have like the backsplash kind of stops and we have this panel that goes behind the stove that's like metal and I was like, you know what? I should do that in houses every now and then. But the walls in this house were too high and you could see it like above the cabinets and that bothered me. So I didn't do that here. <laughs> but ooh, this little seating area we change into, I put a computer on that um, tall desk thing that, what's it called? It's like a bar height table. So we put a computer on that and then we get in a little coffee maker in the corner. Also, I used all different kinds of cushions. I think one of them is actually ends up being a chair. Yep, there it is. <laughs> and we just got the bubble blower out here because, you know, what's a boho house apartment build without a bubble blower? It's it's nothing, right? <laughs> so we did that. We got our little plant area going, got some plants on the walls, got our plants planter, our herb planter under the window. You know, if you're in the kitchen, you just open the window, grab your fresh herbs that are growing out there. I don't know. And then a um, nice little grill area. So this house has a lot of things in it. So I think that's pretty nice. Um, actually, does it, does it though? Do we have a chess table? I can't remember. I know that I made one house recently where I made a conscious effort to put in more skill building items than just like a computer because usually I just focus on a computer and then I pop an easel in somewhere and call it a day. But I made a house recently. I think it's the house no, it comes out in two weeks or not two weeks, one week. I want one week from tomorrow, I have a house where I like made an effort to put more different types of skill building items and like family activities in the house um, just to mix things up a little bit. And ooh, I like the color scheme of this kid's room a lot. At first I was like, i um, going to make it all blue, but then I saw that there was some yellow in the bedding and then I was like, oh, we can do like a blue and yellow thing, but then I wanted pops of other color too, so we get that little pink box in there and I think I have something else that's pink somewhere else in the room. I don't know, but yeah, it's just a nice, fun little kid's room. Oh yeah, we have the pink that I brought in. Oh, there actually isn't any yellow in the bed, but the yellow, oh, it was, it was the yellow from the curtains. Once I saw the curtains, I was like, hmm, that ties in with the green in the, the bed the nightstand table thing. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know. Um, I just got all kinds of inspiration from the kid's bedroom and I think it turned out pretty cute. Also, I don't show the furnishing of the master bedroom because I feel like, well, I, th I feel like it was the exact same pretty much as the kid's one. I think I have some screenshots of it because, um, yeah, I just wanted to double check on that. Or did, I wanted to double check on that. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm like thinking about other things and just like word vomiting nothing right now. Um, But now I'm freaking out about this window because I was like, what happened to my window? Um, It ends up being fixed when I went in and moved to sim in to take screenshots. It fixed itself. So in the screenshots, you'll see that it's a functional window. But right now it was really bothering me. And I was very, um, I spent a lot of time trying to fix it. And I don't know what happened. I don't know what went wrong. Don't know what else I could have done to fix it. But um, yeah, it's still bothering me to look at it right now. But rest assured, if you download this apartment or something, it should be fine. And if it's not, maybe just 
move a sim in and hope for the best. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, yeah, that was an issue for me. And ooh, this bedroom, I realized that I wanted to get like a yoga mat and um, what's it called? Like a meditation thing in this apartment, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> I wanted to put those on the balcony and I ended up getting, I think I did put a yoga mat on the balcony by the end of the build. It might be in the screenshots. I don't know if you can see it or not because it's just like a flat mat on the balcony. I don't know if I got a good angle on that, but I did switch that up and I also, see there's our coffee maker, but I also went in and put the little meditation stool thing in the bedroom because because I feel like the yoga mat, like, not that kids can use the yoga mat, but, like, I feel like it makes more sense that, like, the family would have access to it, but the kid's probably not too concerned about, like, meditating, and I felt like it would make sense to be more in um, a more, like, private area of the house where it's, like, quieter type of thing. So, yeah, we went with that. And I also, ooh, I put in... Um, that same paneling that I used around the living room in the master bedroom, but now we're into the screenshots. So I hope that you enjoyed this video where I talked about the build the entire time. Are you proud of me? Are you bored? I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments. But anyway, I hope you had a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.